God is so good, Dad. Like, God is so good. Like, He is so good. Like, this is not me being religious. This is me speaking out of experience. God is good. God is good. God is good. He's a good God. He, he's a trustworthy God. He's an honorable God if you trust in him. If you follow his ways consistently. If you stay in him, I'm telling you, he will not disappoint. He will not disappoint you. He will not let you down. God will, God will not let you down. He won't. He won't. I'm going to tell you guys a story. Now, in this box, it's a very box. Um, so that is not the point. But in this box is where I keep a lot of prayers. You know, a lot of my worries. This is my God box. You know, this is my God box. You know, and um, most of these are from 2014 when I just found God. I now keep them in, in notepads or books. But these are from 2014, guys. <laughs> It's a lot, okay? It's a lot. I had a lot on me. I had a lot on me, guys, okay? I had a lot on me, you know? And, um... I am so lost for words. It's like, I, I don't know what to say, honestly. I don't know what to say. In this box, I have a list that I wrote in 2014, you know, and um, if you hear my story, you know, out of desperation, out of being suicidal, I literally told God, you either take my life or I'm going to kill, I'm going to kill myself. And, um, at the time, I didn't know anything about no Holy Ghost. I didn't know anything about no being guided by the Holy Spirit. All I knew is that once I said to God, I need help. One, all I knew, guys, my heart is literally there. All I knew is I said to God that I needed his help because I couldn't do life by myself anymore. You know? And after that, all I can say to you guys is that my whole life had changed that day. I knew something was different from within me. I did nothing around me changed, but I knew inside myself, I felt different. Something was different about this girl. I didn't know in 2020 that I'll look back and just watch God. Just watch God. Just watch God be God in my life. And he used his son, Jesus Christ. He used the Bible. He used his disciple. He used people around me. He brought people to around me to mold me, to shape me. But in 2014... I started really, I know now it was God guiding me by his spirit. Guys, I would be reading my Bible. I'll be praying. I'll be listening to sermon. That was my life. That was my life. That was my food. Prayer. Being in God's presence, listening to sermon, 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 obsessively reading the Bible. And during this time, I made a list and i'm gonna do my best to search through this pile and find the list but on that list was to write a book 
I did not know what the book was going to be about. That was just a desire within me. And the Bible says that God put the desires in us. He puts them in us. Any desires that you have and you relate it to the Bible and it is acceptable to God's word, it could be a desire from God. And people, today, today, today I am holding the first copy of my book. This was 2014. I wrote that. It is 2020. And I'm holding, this is what you call when you order a book, when you write a book and you want to see how it looks before you order a whole patch, this is my first draft. And guys, I cannot tell you, I cannot tell you, I cannot tell you what I'm feeling like right now. I cannot tell you what I'm feeling. All I can say is God is good because where I come from, you don't write books. Where I come from, you don't graduate with your degree. Where I come from, there's no future. There's no future. There's no better life. And God, he, he's just starting with me. He, and he started time ago, but I'm just realizing that, God, I know you're just still laying foundations in my life. During quarantine, you know, being locked in a house with four kids, our house just went crazy. And um, one thing I wanted to do was decorate the house. Well, obviously, you got to be careful with money and where we are financially. We can't be spending like that. So every month we will buy one thing two things and little by little the house started coming together and i said that was a desire it's not finished yet even now it's not finished yet but i'm watching the house little by little come together and i'm like this is what life is like god put a desire in our heart and little by little, little by little, little by little, he guides us, he molds us, he refines us to be ready for when that desire comes. I don't know if you've ever watched my first gray swap video. Guys, I was a mess because I didn't want to do it. It was a desire God put in me that I didn't want. It was his desire, not mine. And I weeped in my first video because in deep inside, I didn't want nobody to know my business. I didn't want nobody to know that I was suicidal. I didn't want anybody to know that I was hearing voices, seeing things, feeling things. That if I told anyone, I would probably be locked in a madhouse. I didn't want no one, no one to know my dirty secrets. And God was pushing me to test. And I didn't know this day was coming. And this is nothing, nothing compared to what I know is in store for me. God, I know everything he put in me now. It might not come tomorrow or next year, but it will come. And I want you to know, if you are lost, if you are uncertain about life, I know a God that is completely certain and knows everything about your life. He is your creator. He, he birthed you. And if you want to know why you are called, why you are here, I encourage you, give your life to Jesus. Follow the precepts that his father gave you. Be guided by God. Be obedient in Him. And watch God bless you. Watch God transform you. Watch God turn your whole life around. I am so honored. I'm so blessed. And I'm so thankful to God. And I want to tell you, if 
this is possible, not because of Kenesha. Kenesha did not do this. Kenesha did not do this. Even when my husband read this book, he'd be like, baby, you know that God used you to write this book. And I know. And God want to use you to write many books and to do many more. I'm so thankful. I want to encourage you that no matter where you are in life, God can take you from that place and bring you to a place of peace, of thankfulness, bring you to a place